All right, welcome back everybody. Happy Friday. It's almost the weekend out there and we are almost seeing a sunrise just over the Big Belt Mountains there. Just peaks of uh, sunlight coming up over there. 50 degrees to start our morning, partly cloudy skies. It's going to be colder the next few mornings though, so enjoy these relatively warm mornings while you can. We're pretty significantly warmer out in Great Falls and most of the north central plains right now. 50s for most of us out there, but a couple 40s showing up. Bozeman, Butte, Dillon, most of southwest Montana just a bit cooler right now. But here is what's going to change that coming up because we will be down into the 30s and possibly even 20s in some places across the state. So there is a cold front currently in the Canadian prairies that is going to make its way southward. It will reach the high line by about noon to maybe one o'clock today. We'll have some showers on it, isolated showers, possibly even a thunderstorm near Glasgow later this afternoon, but that's not going to be the main story behind this front. It'll be a little cloudy. There will be some light showers, but it is going to get much colder behind this front as it continues to push southward throughout the day today and into tomorrow. And that front is through the state by tomorrow morning. So that is going to make our temperatures much cooler going into tonight. We're talking 30s, 40s out in northeastern Montana. And then we go towards Lewistown. We're down into the mid 30s, Harlington 36, showdowns 27. We'll be at 40 here in Helena, 33 up in Great Divide though. So just a little bit of elevation gain and you're getting pretty close to some freezing conditions. So frost is going to be a concern going into tomorrow morning and Sunday morning. But what if I told you those temperatures aren't really going to stick around too long because looking into next week, a high pressure ridge is going to build into much of the western United States. All that red indicating that we have a pretty good shot at being above average for our temperatures. Most of the country will be uh, above average for uh, our daily high temperatures. With that front though, the wind is going to increase today. We're already at uh, over 10 miles an hour sustained in Great Falls and that is going to continue to increase. Could see wind of 15 to 30 miles an hour today. Notice this little band of heavier wind right here that indicates the cold front. So that's going to push through. Our wind direction will change. It's going to initially be out of the west and then it will switch to the north, but it will be strong regardless of which wind direction uh, it's coming out of. But tomorrow, a different story. It'll be out of the east and it will be light and we won't really be dealing with that strong wind for the foreseeable future here. Lake wind advisory for Fort Peck Lake today due to that cold front passing through 15 to 30 miles an hour on the lake. So if you're out there on your boat, just make sure uh, you uh, recreate safely uh, because it could be a little bit gusty at times. Not much going on on the radar. You can just make it out in the corner of the screen. There's some snow up in the Canadian Rockies. We could see some light snow in Glacier National Park uh, tonight as that cold front pushes through. Again, I'm not the main story of that front. It's going to be the, the cold, but we could get maybe a dusting to an inch of snow in the higher peaks. Just some cloud cover across the Pacific Northwest. A pretty quiet weather day for most of the United States right now. We'll have some showers up into the uh, northern high plains later today. So here's that cold front. It's going to push through. Notice places like Great Falls, Cut Bank, Haver already in the cooler conditions. Everybody else into the 70s today. That front pushes through tomorrow. High pressure builds in. It'll be a cool last day of the summer. 50s and 60s for our highs. On Sunday, temperatures do improve, but there will be another front that pushes through the area going into Monday. That'll drop our highs back down into the low 70s. But remember, we will be dealing with frost conditions here tomorrow morning and Sunday morning. So make sure you take care of that sensitive vegetation.